Hello everyone and happy International Inner Wheel Day. My name is Maya Gomez and I am the District Editor of Inner Wheel District 3 to 1. Today I would like to share with you seven tips for editors under the acronym CLARITY. C L A R I T and Y. Here goes. Tip number one. C for clarity itself. Know exactly what you have to convey and convey it clearly. Tip number two, language. Keep your language simple, formal and to the point and error free. Don't hesitate to get your writing cross-checked by someone with good language skills before you share your work. Tip number three, alignment. Line up your images and text on your page so that your page looks neat and visually appealing. Use a grid to help you place your images and text in alignment. Number four, resources. Work with what you have. Optimize your resources in time. Perfection is overrated. Get the job done as well as possible with the available resources at hand. Collect all the photos and information that you need in folders so that you have your resources at your fingertips. Set aside some time every day and show up at your desk. Break down your project into small achievable tasks. Tackle one task at a time and before you know it, your complex project will be complete. Number five, images. Choose photos that convey information and tell a story and are visually appealing. Take photographs that show the context and describe the project. Edit your photos with simple tools on your phone. Crop off excess portions. Increase contrast or brightness as needed to get your pictures clear. Number six, tools. Use simple tools at your disposal. Equip yourself with phone apps for videos, posters and collages like Canva, Vimeo and Pic Collage, which are all intuitive and easy to use. PowerPoint on your computer is a simple tool for putting together bulletins and souvenirs. Sites like Unsplash give you high quality background images with no copyright issues. If you are using someone else's writing, make sure you acknowledge the source. Use WhatsApp web to access WhatsApp directly on your computer. The only way to get computer savvy is to open up your computer and start using it. Handmade and handwritten is beautiful too. Scrapbooking creates beautiful keepsakes for the club and can be scanned and made into e-versions as well. How about a handmade bulletin? Number seven, you. You are best at being you. No one else can be you. So put yourself into your work. Do your research if needed. Look at what others have done, but then do what you feel is right for the task at hand. That way you will not be overwhelmed or confused by the information overload that's available to you. Learn from others, take advice, but finally, you do you. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching.